This week on Completed It Mate, I waffle on about video games with special guest Scroobius Pip. He's a musician, poet, podcaster, writer, actor, and loads of like other stuff. He does lots of things. He was popularised by a childhood game where legend has it, if you say Scroobius Pip three times in a mirror, his beard will come into your bedroom in the night and tickle your feet. Please welcome Scroobius Pip. Okay, I'm with Scroobius Pip. We've just done your podcast. Yeah, how, we how have. Was, how was my performance on it? It was amazing. It was good, fantastic. It? I'd heard from other mutual friends that you were way more boring than than you were. You, yeah. you were thoroughly interested and it was enjoyable. Don't. The lesson there is don't listen to Stuart with me. <laughs> That's a good lesson. You're on my thing now. So the tables have turned. Yeah, they have. And I've got some boring questions for you. Great. Let's talk about your video game history. Yeah. What was your first console? Um, it would have been NES. Oh, oh it's... Yeah, console, NES. I had yeah. the Spectrums and Amigas, but console, NES. I'd say the Spectrum was a console, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't would you? It? I don't know. It was is an early computer, console. isn't it? Is it? Well, it went well, on I the television. Well, Spectrum, yeah, and you had a... Yeah, it was tapes. Yeah, they were weird. It? I mean, I had one of them, and I'm a little bit younger than you. Yeah. And that was just f- through being poor. Yeah. I had, well, I, had, I had the old... Con- when a new console came out, I then got the old one. I had a Spectrum, and a lot of the games I had on the Spectrum, my uncle had made. <laughs> so we'd, we couldn't even buy the actual games. He'd just do a little bit of programming. Yeah. Like, bloop, like some little just... just That's incre- that, that is incredible, all that. Have you ever seen um, From Bedrooms to Billions, I think? No, I haven't. I've, and got, it, I've got it on my to-watch list. And it's about Sinclair, and it's about all these guys that... Um, you'd, you'd buy a magazine... And you'd 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 buy a Spectrum or whatever, and it would have the code, and you'd try and work it out yourself and, yeah. and make your own games. Yeah. And then you'd make your own version of Space Invaders and things like this. Right. Yeah, and yeah. these people then became writers for for gaming magazines and stuff, and they became sort of rock stars yeah. for yeah. the video game world. And Britain was like the leader in this industry, and they were just like, this is going to last forever and ever and ever. And purely because the internet wasn't around yet, yeah. suddenly. Do the Japanese started doing loads of stuff, but they didn't know it was coming at all. And one day it was like oh, Sega or Nintendo just turned up, and they went, "Oh, hang on, what, what's that? How, <laughs> how's that work?" <laughs> and, it sort of, and it sort of talks about that. And there's some, like, there's this that. one bloke who was, um, I think he was really sort of like forward thinking in music for video games, yeah. and um, he composed a lot of video games music. And you look at him now; he looks like your cliche sort of like a guy that had been. St- Chewed up and spat out Brilliant. by the music industry. Brilliant. He was like, look, like he was on heroin. The and game stuff. industry has yeah. killed him. Have you seen the one on Netflix that's like, it's about what's the game that's that's like Snake? It was an arcade game, and and there's a Netflix on it because this guy, it's the first game anyone got a million points on in in an arcade, and this guy had the record as the first person to oh have God. ever got a, a million. That. It's really good. It was again, I watched it on Netflix. It'd help. It'd be helpful if I knew the name, but. And there's one guy in that who was like in the 80s or 90s, uh, an arcade kind of celebrity. Yeah. And he's exactly like Judd Nelson in, <laughs> in, in The Breakfast Club. And they have him now and he's not changed. He's still like got a cut off right. t shirts <laughs> and like his hair's in, in some dreads now. But it was like so. He was literally, I saw him and I was like, that is the coolest person I've ever seen. Because <laughs> number one, he toured the world as a teen playing arcade games because he was had world records all over yeah. the place and he's still like yeah there's that guy that the, the guy that um, invented <laughs> Tetris yeah and he's like never earned any money yeah because it was owned by the Russian Soviet Russia yeah <laughs> what's your most recent game that you've enjoyed um, most recent there's been two there's one that I've really really enjoyed and one I've played a little bit and enjoyed I, a, a couple of weekends ago I put Star Wars Battlefront or Battleground in Battlefront yeah. did you like that really enjoyed it I was that was what. That's one of my biggest disappointments in, oh, in really? video games at all. You see, I don't know what I thought it was going to be. See, that's the. I don't know what the, I thought the, it was going to be. I, that's the exact reason it was exciting for me because I I had it on the side for ages and I had um, an EA Sports Black card, which meant I get free nice. games. So um, and it was one ones. It was one of the last ones I got. Where's mine? Or before they. I think they've stopped them now because I haven't had. I can't get any more. Don't mention <laughs> it. Um, but. Um, I got that and I just hadn't played it because I thought, oh, it's just some Star Wars game. Yeah. And then I saw it get a few good reviews, or it was in a few end of year lists. Well, and then I put it in and I was expecting it to just be a Call of Duty type thing because from the cover it looks like that's all it is. Yeah. And then the fact it had the Speeders game on there fing blew me away yeah. and all the different 
ship versions and all sorts. Huh? Yeah, I didn't think there was an there was enough to it. You play time in there yeah. exactly. That's why it's the one I've played recently and enjoyed. Yeah. But I've, I've spent a couple of hours on it and been. Like, I, I'd had it. This is great. I'd had it pre-ordered. I was telling my kids about it because they loved Jeez. they loved Star Wars yeah. and stuff. And I was like, "Come on, we're going to play some Star Wars." And they're young. They're five and three. Yeah. So they get well excited over stuff, yeah, and I was yeah, just yeah. like. And they were, they, they were, this is boring. Yeah, <laughs> I was going, yeah you're right. But, but as a game I'll get behind, and it's one of the best games I've ever played, and I, pl- I played it last year, Inside. Um, okay. Just blew me away. I, Again, I don't it, it, it recommended. I'm really bad. I don't play a lot of games. I've, I play. No, the, I don't. I don't. I, I, and even I, though, even though like I'm doing a gaming, like I don't have an encyclopedic knowledge on video games, and I yeah. don't play every video game. I play the big ones. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, like the, yeah. the, the what most people do. Yeah. Yeah. Like I haven't played your obscure indie sort of <laughs> game. Like I, I just don't have time to. Which is why you should play Inside. I said I don't. Okay. It, it recommended, and it is. It is kind of this obscure indie arty type yeah, thing. Yeah. No, almost. I have heard of it. And you can complete it in three, four hours. Okay. So it's it's, but it's an indie indie game, and it's a few quid or whatever. Yeah. I put it on, and I can. I played it in. My plan was to have a bit of a go. I played it from beginning to end in one session on my own, and it was one of the most amazing experience it's okay. such an amazing and there's no instructions it's all just intuitive yeah there's no it just starts right so, so there isn't even okay. a start but like it just starts and you're like right well I guess I'm controlling this person right. <laughs> what's your favourite game of all time um, well purely for hours spent it's got to be championship manager I was just yeah. addicted I, I, I would genuinely forget to eat I've got relationships that are built on that game yeah yeah it was it was it was it was it was amazing. It's the only game, or or it was the first game I think that was. It's been cited in more than three divorce hearings, I believe, or something like that. Right. It's fo- I mean, obviously, it's football. It's manager football manager now. now. Yeah, yeah. That is a such a special game, and I. But I know loads of people that don't get it. Yeah. Because well, it I, doesn't look like a video I, game. It I looks like a. It looks. Why they wouldn't get it as well. It's a database. Yeah. And it's a, spreadsheet. A spreadsheet. It's, it's a spreadsheet game. But, but if you're into football, even ever so slightly into football it, it will it will capture you and particularly as a Millwall fan because Cherno Samba is, yeah. is one of the best <laughs> players that you can ever have signed on yeah. Championship Manager and he would always go on to play for England there and he was at Millwall and I See, remember hearing about him in the youth team and he, he never really made it to the first team he never really had this career yeah. but in Championship Manager he went on to be the best player in the world so I was sitting there thinking in our youths in our youth team, we've got a player. Yeah. Like, if this game is true, it's going I to be always, England. Um, England first on the sheet. I always, if ever I did a, if ever I did a, a Palace game. Yeah. Which is obviously much more difficult if you were to be Manchester United or yeah. Real Madrid or something like that. I would always go into the editor mm-hmm. and uh, put myself in it. Brilliant. As like a what, like dead young, like a fourteen-year-old, yeah, yeah. like wonder kid, train him up that will get even better yeah. and play till he's about forty. Brilliant. <laughs> or but nowadays I put my kids in it. Amazing! Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> have them, have them in the same. Oh, but I make them brilliant. Play, um, I play it accurate. No, that, no, I play the oldest so. one um, in midfield, and he can play all across midfield. Of course. And uh, and the youngest one's up front. And he's nice. a striker. Nice. And it does make the game a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. See, I used to do a bit of a cheat because, again, I'd always play as Millwall, which is yeah. f-ing harder. And yeah. my cheat, and I feel bad. I remember even um, it. my my proudest achievement um, on um, on f- Championship Manager was getting Dagnum Redbridge out of the conference, and Brilliant. I think I got them up to what is now called the the, ch- the Championship Division mm. One, and that was before I knew about Edder and stuff yeah. like that. And so, that was just that was just really. F- I'm, I'm, and I'm, you weren't you couldn't um I had friends that would switch their computer off. Yeah. Because you know once again, you're once you're in it. a game you can't yeah. you can't yeah. like just save it and then yeah. load yeah. it and stuff yeah. like that. And um reset. Yeah. Yeah. I was just too scared to do that cuz um it was my dad's computer and I thought it would f- the computer. Right. Off. So I did that a few times. I, d- I didn't even count that as cheating. That was just, <laughs> that was just part of the game but <laughs> the cheat I'd do would I'd I'd, I'd set up another player and do it as two player and I'd go to Man United and I'd buy like my reserve left back f- right. f- f- yeah, for 40 you, million or you, something like use that use their whole transfer yeah, budget on, on my, <laughs> but, but yeah. that change 
when they bought the boards in and that they, they block <laughs> stuff. But again, that was my thing because it's like it's still going to be hard to get good players at Millwall, but to yeah. have a bit of a budget would be nice. So yeah, yeah I'd do that. And it, it'd be a first off thing. It'd be the first day of the season. I'd be Manu, whole transfer budget on a <laughs> random left back or retiring yeah. player. There you go. I've now got forty million in the bank. All right, screw. There was your. Those were the boring questions. I enjoyed them. Thank you. Thanks so much for being on. It's completed, mate. <laughs> this is it. This is this is all I do. It's great. It's all right, isn't it? Um, okay, well there we have it. That's the end of the video. I'm just in Hollywood at the moment. Yeah, did a YouTube video for you. Scroobius Pip was great. It was really good being on his podcast. Links to all his sh will be in the comments box, in the description below rather. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please comment. Don't forget I read every single one of your comments. I try and reply to as many as I can. I feel like a fucking idiot doing this in public. <laughs> I feel like a moron. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you all. I won't see you, you might see me if you wanna watch. Why can't I just say goodbye? Adios.